Why do I feel like Elton John when I'm wearing these? Do, 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 do. You be a clown by now. Let's just address what we know everybody's talking about right now in the room. Yes, I'm very sleepy. I'm actually doing this video really early in the morning and um, I have been very, very busy going, going, going. And um, that's why I look tired because I am sleepy. I'm very sleepy actually. All right, mystery box challenge time it is mystery box challenge i'm so excited for this one this one has some fun themes and it also has some very fun um stuff <laughs> that we have to do with this now my box um uh, came from whitney over at whiskey and wit and i love whitney and i think i love her anyway and then the um my box I sent to Melanie over at Simple Made Pretty, and I've never worked with Melanie before. I definitely have followed her channel, though, and I hope that she will still um, follow mine and uh, like me <laughs> because I sent her something. I sent her something bad, y'all. But, so this box is farmhouse theme. That's what the theme is this month. And also, along with the farmhouse, we've got... A mandatory item so every DIY we do has to incorporate twine has to incorporate twine and then the other item one of the challenge items to, okay so typically we send 10 items total two of the challenge items are our mysteries but we all know one of the challenge items this time I'm not gonna tell you it just yet but uh, yeah all right so let's see what Whitney sent me in my box. First of all, there's a card that says, Good luck, Farmer Jamie. Uh, by the way, all of my cards and things that I receive are up there on that bulletin board behind me. So let me read this, make sure it's safe. <laughs> Uh, so it says, Jamie, hey, 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 I hope you enjoy the contents of this box. I was challenged when I was shopping. Just in case it feels too challenging, I've included some rose-colored glasses to help <laughs> get you along. I know you'll rock it. I can't wait. I can't wait to... Oh, wait to watch. I thought it said I can't wait to water. I was like, what? But uh, cute stationery and everything. So thank you, Whitney. That will that will go up there if um, if I like what you did. We'll put it over there for now. Okay. Uh, here's my rose-colored glasses. You know how you know you should see everything through rose-colored glasses. I feel like I should put these on to hide my uh, my little puffy eyes right now because um, I'm sleepy. I'm I have a closing that's going to be happening very very soon. So oh, I could do that, and you guys would never know. All right, let's do that. But then the problem is I can't see anything. They're cute though. They're actually really cute. Maybe I'll wear them out, out and about this month. Can I do that? I could do that. What do you guys think? Should I keep these on or not? <laughs> All right, I don't feel like I'm as funny in the morning. Okay, uh, all right. This is a challenge item, so we're gonna wait on that. And again, I know what the other challenge item is. Okay, so farmhouse. And we have to incorporate twine into every DIY. And, um, and then the one mandatory item. The mandatory item is going to be scary. So this is cute. Um, so, and then each item two is going to be labeled. So like you see here. So item number six, this was um, just pulling them out randomly, is metal. So if she sends me one metal thing here, then metal can't be duplicated in the box. So metal is the first so that's gonna be fun to DIY actually and um, hmm. it's gonna be fun I almost like want to keep it like it is because it's pretty so this is challenge item number two um, which is SC sender's choice sender's choice is SC remember it's early here uh, so SC I just dropped the challenge item I hope it doesn't break I'm grabbing it with my toe. <laughs> okay. 
Um, challenge item number four needed to be made of wood. And she sent me that cute barn. This is actually really cute. Wow. Uh, this came from Make Market. Make Market? What is Make Market? Is that like a like a Michaels or something? This is really cute, actually. I, uh, yeah, I've already got an idea for this. This is cute. Huh. Yeah, this is really cute. My mom's probably gonna try and steal it from me. Cute barn. All right, next item. We had to send a farm animal and uh, Whitney sent me a cow. <laughs> but it's funny what Whitney does not know about me is that I used to collect cows. I had cows, um, it was all in my kitchen actually. I had canisters, I had rugs, I had dish towels, I had like, and my mom bought me like everything. It was in my very first apartment. So um, the cow brings back good memories and uh, horrific memories when I finally figured out some other stuff to start doing. Uh, garden, or we had to set a kitchen tool. So this is item number eight kitchen tool. This is the best freaking tool to have in your kitchen, by the way. And I, I have to, I just realized now I have to DIY with it. Ooh. But this really is a great kitchen tool, you guys. Um, it's like, pretend my hand is like ground chicken or ground pork or something. As you're cooking it up, you just kind of do like eh, 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 one of those things. And it starts to kind of break down the, like turns it into crumbles, basically. It's so, so good but I have to DIY with it. Okay, a garden tool was also one of the DIYs and this is the one that she sent me. Reminds me of like the scream knife. So, uh, that one's gonna be hard. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I wanna do that. Um, and then item number three, sender's choice. She sent me a bundle of twine and a bundle of beads or a bundle of a ribbon, I guess I should say, with some twine wrapped around it. Look at those beads though. I'm excited to see those because I don't know where she got these. Um, she has so many great stores by her. Um, Merchant 41, uh, these I'm kind of obsessed with. I'm not gonna lie, especially that cow print. Bring you back memories of my kitchen. Okay. Um, some napkins for Sender's Choice. So those will be fun to possibly work with. Hmm. All right. So, mandatory item that is part of uh, the challenge items, you know, supposed to be secret. Typically it is for you guys. Um, she wrapped it, which I think is funny because the one I sent to, um, <laughs> to Melanie, I didn't even wrap it. I did put it in a little bag, but, uh, so the mandatory challenge item, dirt, mm -hmm. dirt. It's not brownies. That's dirt. Dirt. So I have to make a DIY incorporating dirt. Y'all have to watch Melanie's video and <laughs> see the dirt that I sent her because um, it had been raining here. I'll let you figure out the rest of that. And then this is my other challenge item from Whitney. I think it's golf clubs. Yeah, it's a set of golf clubs. I don't like you anymore, Whitney. Um, all right, let's make sure that's not everything. Typically I would get a present to, you know, bribe, be bribed with, but that's what the rose colored glasses are for, right? So, um, I'm gonna put all these goodies back in this bag, or in this box. Maybe I'll just put them in the trash bag. <laughs> and, uh, mm, trash. 
try and figure out all of my DIYs that have to be farmhouse and they have to incorporate twine. Every single DIY has to incorporate twine. And then I have to incorporate dirt into a DIY with twine. Dirt and twine. And then I have to do golf clubs with twine. I guess technically I don't have to use them all, but I can just use like a piece of this with dirt. Or twine. I don't have to use dirt with this, but twine. All right, I will uh, chat with you guys soon. <laughs> all right, everyone, and for this first project, I'm going to take this metal flower that Whitney sent me. I love these flowers. I love the Dollar Tree version of these, and I also definitely love these from Hobby Lobby. I decided that I wanted to make something that could go on the deck in the back, so I'm going to go ahead and just start kind of bending up these petals just a little bit. And the idea here is that I'm going to turn this into a candle holder that can sit out on the deck somewhere. So the only thing that I'm going to be missing with this right now is the twine element because, as you know, I have to incorporate twine into every single one of these DIYs. And I noticed that this inside here is uh, not quite as stable as I would like it to be for a candle. So I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue into this. And then I'm going to take some twine. And I am going to take that twine and we are going to kind of spin it or twine it around on the inside of this flower to kind of give my candle holder a little bit of a stronger base. Definitely something that's a little more flatter and something that will work really, really well. So I'm not going to use all of this twine. I'm going to just go ahead and kind of uh, push down a couple pieces. And then I'm going to use my candle holder there to kind of push this down in the middle. And then I'm going to take this outside and uh, we're going to paint it. But before I do that, I need to incorporate this. Now, this was a chopper that Whitney gave me. I obviously saw the kind of... Uh, uh, chopper part off of it. If you don't have one of these choppers, by the way, in your kitchen, you are missing out because this thing is great. It was actually pretty easy to cut too. I just kind of used a little hacksaw and uh, I'm going to add some hot glue onto the bottom of this. And what I'm going to do is just kind of give my flower a little bit of a stand. So we're going to go ahead and just glue that down right to the center there. Make sure that that's nice and flat and uh, kind of squish it around a little bit. You know, spread the love with the glue. This is what it looks like when it's all done. I spray painted it this gorgeous chrome color. I love it. Now for this next one, I am going to use these golf clubs and these suckers. These were challenging for me. I'm not going to lie. I tried to find another set of these in my local Dollar Tree because I was thinking I could use them, uh, you know, do a couple different things. But I ultimately ended up wanting to just use these golf balls. Now, I have this wood round. I grabbed this wood round from Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm going to make a really cool kind of candle stand with this. So I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue into the uh onto the side there and i'm just gonna put the there's a, a small like little hole in each one of the golf balls and i'm just gonna glue it hole down i don't know why just because uh just because i can right it's my diy so i'm gonna go ahead and add these other golf balls just kind of doing the same thing what i'm doing is just making sure that i have a nice puddle of glue on each one of these and then again just hold down we're going to go ahead and just put that down and just kind of glue these down right on top of this now originally i was going to paint this whole thing but i kind of love the way it looks i used some antiquing wax some black ink paint and i'm super super happy with that one so this next DIY is going to incorporate this wreath that Whitney sent me. I really love this wreath. I actually like this wreath a lot. And I have a wood door in my kitchen, which goes into kind of my pantry. And I want to kind of have something on that door. I've been wanting to have something on that door that's going to pop. I really love the greenery and everything in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of play around with this right now. I am just kind of pulling the um, kind of the, the greenery pieces away from the wreath 
because I want to see what I'm working with here. Just kind of get an idea of what, um, you know, what I have, what I can add to it, what I've got in my stash. And honestly, I'm so happy with just the way this is by itself that I'm going to incorporate some of that beautiful, beautiful ribbon that Whitney also sent me. I love the cowhide. I also love this kind of beaded garland, but I also have this large burlap uh, bow. So I'm going to go ahead and add this on here. I almost called it a burlap rug. How funny is that? So I'm going to go ahead and just tie this burlap bow around the wreath. And we're going to make sure that that's nice and tight on there. And then I'm going to cut away strips of this cowhide ribbon because I want to just kind of work this in with this bow. Now my bow is starting to come apart here a little bit. So I'm going to kind of feed a little bit of that back through there and just kind of make sure everything's nice and secure. And then we are going to cut off pieces of our cowhide ribbon and we are going to start kind of tucking that underneath the bow pieces and we're going to make sure that everything is glued in there but then also we've got it kind of wrapped around the individual pieces where I can and what's so cool about this also is that that cowhide ribbon is just slightly smaller than the burlap ribbon which is really cool because it's going to give a really super nice transition here and uh, if you know anything about me at one time my entire kitchen was nothing but cowhide print I had everything cowhide a lot of it was thanks to my mother i had cowhide dishes and tables and not a table but uh, towels and uh canisters and just everything cowhide so i also wanted to incorporate that beautiful beaded garland which by the way does have twine that's what's holding those beads together so we're going to make a hanger with this and as i'm just kind of working my way around and just kind of fluffing this around i'm going to make sure that that hangs really pretty how gorgeous is this on the door i love the way that this one turned out now for this next DIY, I'm going to use this a barn that Whitney sent me. I really like this barn. I also need to find out where she got this because I love this. I just love it. I'm also going to incorporate dirt because this is one of the challenge items. Dirt, the golf clubs, by the way, were the other challenge item. And of course, I've got to incorporate the cow because the cow goes with the barn and this is going to be perfect. Now, I spray painted my barn apple red and yes you can see me covering it with dirt because I am going to kind of age up that paint a little bit and kind of get some dirt in the cracks and everything because I want this to look like an aged barn. Now this is what it looked like after everything had dried and I kind of brushed away some of the dirt and as you can see it definitely stained it definitely did what I wanted it to do. Now I'm going to take that beaded garland and uh, I did go ahead and remove some of those uh, beads off of there. When you cut this, by the way, it, it just start, beads just start falling off. So I glued two pieces of the twine together there with the beads on it. And then I put some tape on the end of it and I'm going to shove it down in the top there because now I've got a little hanger for my barn. How cute is this? And by the way, I spray painted the cow just a solid green. I love it. Now this one, this is a challenging one. This is the garden tool and I was really at a loss at what to do with this at first. And then I started thinking about how it just kind of reminds me of like, um, you know, something you'd stick in the ground. Obviously it's a garden tool, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue in the uh, center there just to make sure that my dowel rod is held in there. Nice. I'm not worried about the length of that dowel rod because I'm actually going to be trimming it down here in just a second. I've also got this wood round bead that I'm going to glue on the top here. This came from my stash and it does have a flat bottom on it. So it actually works out perfectly to put it on there. I'm just going to go ahead and hold this into place and then we are going to get to painting this. Now for my paint, I'm just going to use Waverly. I'm going to use the ink chalk paint. If you wanted to do something like a spray paint or a gloss, you could certainly do that as well. I was going to spray paint this originally, but the rain came down really, really hard. So I didn't get to spray paint this like I wanted to, but honestly, the chalk paint was so perfect on this. It went over it really, really easily. And uh, if you wanted to kind of protect this, you certainly could. Now I'm going to go ahead and just measure off here. I'm going to do three inches on each side of it. That way I can trim 
that down a little bit. Kind of looks like a scarecrow, doesn't it? Um, it, it doesn't end up being a scarecrow, but uh, that would have been a cute idea as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my pencil here and just kind of mark off. You can see that I didn't paint that dowel rod in its entirety because I knew I was going to be trimming it down. So go ahead and just take your lineman pliers or your clippers, whatever you've got, and you're going to go ahead and just kind of trim off those edges. And then I did touch up the sides just a little bit with the kind of residual paint that was left on the paintbrush. So now I've got some twine. I'm going to take this twine and we're also going to incorporate these little lanterns. These came from Dollar Tree. I love these little lanterns. I wanted to get a ton of them because I think they'd be amazing on my Christmas tree this year. I'm going to go ahead and just take my twine. I'm going to trim it down and I did end up trimming it down to a shorter piece as well. So don't worry, I didn't waste a whole lot of twine. But uh, what I did was just kind of work it through the uh, side here and then I tied it into a loop with my twine and tied it into a knot and just made sure that I trimmed that knot down just a little bit as close as I could. I repeated that also on the other side here to make sure that everything was kind of even and uh, honestly this is what it turned out to be. It's a little garden steak lantern. How cute is this? And yes, by the way, at night it is so so cute. I love the way this turned out. I think I killed this challenge. What do you guys think? Definitely remember to vote and uh, I will see you guys soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.